Well, it's a glorious morning here in, uh, where am I? St. Louis, well, actually, I'm in Olivet, Missouri. It doesn't matter. Well, they say St. Louis because St. Louis got a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of suburbs, and they all consider St. Louis. I don't know. I'm, I'm dying. You know how they do. Hey, I'm, I'm, I have an experimental concoction that I'm doing. Wait a second. First of all, I'm taking my regular buffered vitamin C. That would be this thing here, buffered vitamin C, you know, power. I don't really, you know, all they do with the with the other vitamin C, I said, no, with the tablet, I don't know what they do. <laughs> Tell you the truth, I don't know what they do. Um, but I guess what they do is they just take the, the like in the tablets, they, you know, they do something. They, they use machines and, you know, and, and blah, blah, blah. You can just do it by just going someplace and doing something else. But I don't know what you would do. But look what I'm doing. Here's the experiment. Here's the look. This is not for you to do at home, okay? This is me. I have a cast iron stomach. You know, I eat anything, you know. So I got, I got some moringa. Oh, just a second. Let me just give a, a little message to my wife, baby. They got got moringa. You know what we need to do, right? When you find this other piece of land, you know, we do borehole and all the rest of that stuff. But uh, at least we have to have a couple of moringa trees. We got to have. A, Plant, get some moringa tree seedling. We got to do that, right? Moringas are all over, well, not all over, in the Eastern Cape of South Africa. Moringa, this is the new, the new, the latest superfood. Even they say organic pure moringa vegetable powder, right? Meet moringa, the super green to help you thrive. You understand what I Meet moringa, the super green, more nutritious than kale. More nutritious than kale? But we were only on kale a few years. No, you got something else for us to buy? Oh, well. So I open the thing up like this, brand new, brand spanking new, you know. Actually, I guess it's expensive here. I never look at the price. That's part of my problem. I don't deal with money. But uh, I suppose it's, uh, you know, it's hefty. Where's my thing at? Okay. So now here's where, here's where it gets funky, as they say. Of course, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the vitamin C cup. That, that wouldn't be nice, you know. I'll use, I'll just... Pour a little meringue in there. Not a lot. Just a little. Just a little. Just a little. He so he keeps on saying just a little, but while he keeps on pouring. Okay, that should be enough. But we'll try small. Always just try small first, because you never can tell. You know, I say I have a cast iron stomach, and my body's been pretty good to me for. But I'm into my seventh dec decades, and my body's been very good to me. You know. Hey, this thing's supposed to come back. Close back up. Some sort of packaging this is. Come on now. I'll deal with that later. So I'm gonna put that there so you can see Meringue now. I want you to see that. I'm not this look, you know my channel. We don't we don't we don't monetize, we don't advertise, blah 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 blah. It's whatever I do, you know. So if you if you one of those now nah, I'm gonna get that, that route because I'm not commercial. Okay, and anyway, then I got, just then I just open this thing up. <sighs> see what happens my when your hands get wet. Then it's like it weak <clears throat> then I pour a little bit oh, of this fine carrot ginger turmeric juice I know turmeric from I know moringa uh, from uh, South Africa but I know turmeric from India I used to travel all over India I've been every place in India not every place in say I never went to Taj Mahal <laughs> oh you see and my tongue that's because I had some uh, uh, chlorophyll a little while ago so I shake up my concoction which is which is you know as we say uh, carrot ginger turmeric that's all it has in there too this just doesn't have you know organic carrot juice organic lemon juice they don't say lemon on here okay uh, or, organic tangerine oil brewed spices organic ginger puree puree and organic ground turmeric that's the organic ground turmeric. So I, I shake that up. You separate it a little bit. That's kind of interesting. Okay. Then I take it and I pour. Oh, wow. Look at that. It looks like the moringa is coming to the top. That's, you see that little green thing on this? Moringa. Then I pour it into the bigger cup. Wow. Maybe I should take it just like this. Should I? Hmm. I think I will. I'm not going to add any more. Expensive juice. Here we go. <sighs> Wish me luck. 
Shears, I'm sorry, Skull, bottoms up. Oh, tastes like carrot juice, actually. So I'll play with that. But here's the thing, look, like I said, I'm in St. Louis, so when I have my, when I'm, when I'm in the morning when I'm doing my workout, well, my walkout, I, walk, I do this dance walk, that I, but I, here I also, where the dog at? Okay, I walk, I walk the dog in the morning. We out for about an hour and a half, hour and three, whatever. We're, 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 we're out for a while. And then me and I do a little dance walk. Get my exercise, I get, get my exercise. Uh, but and I'm, I'm always, I'm listening on, on the, you know, I got these, I bought this for my birthday, these fine little you know, Bluetooth headphones. And so, the, like an advertisement will come up. You know, before it goes to my next cut, because I don't have, I don't have really have a playlist. Like, I mean, I have a musical playlist, I have a lot of things, but I, I and it doesn't matter. I, I, I get these Prince tunes that I just that came up. But they have these commercials in between. Even when it was what we listen to to YouTube right now, I'm listening to uh, uh, with Black Authority. You know, I listen to some people. Okay, I won't say anything, but you know, anyway, Black Authority. He's putting up. He put up these billboards, uh, three billboards in New York, and. Uh, of course, I've been a minute, especially in New York. And it's interesting because they're really good billboards. Hey! Because you got to keep, how do you keep the, your, the consciousness of, of, of reparations and stuff like that in your mind or, or our point of view in mind when they keep on snowing you with the other stuff? When I say snowing you, this is what I mean. When I'm listening to, like, like there'll be a YouTube, YouTube, there'll be a commercial that comes on. But since we're in St. Louis, they'll have a local kind of thing. And I've been hearing this thing about, they're talking about um, they want to expand health care. They said they expand health care. This is the whole thing. You know, expand health care. You know, it's good for Missouri. Um, you go to da, 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 da. They say nothing about Medicare for all. That's better than, because what all they're saying is, all they're saying is we're going to keep, I guess you'll call it, about, uh, the, whatever, the American cares, whatever they got. They're going to keep that. It is going to, the, the, in other words, the, the, the regular, the corporate Democrat point of view, the one, you know, the couple of Democrats that, that beat up on, on Bernie and his point of view, his uh, Medicare for all, right? Well, they're expanding that because you say, where's that money going to? That's what they do, you know? So they keep on, every time you listen to you, they, they, that's in that's, that's in that, that's, that's, that, 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 constantly, that, that's what they're putting in your brain, you know? Okay. So the billboards that Professor Black Truth, Black Authority, one of those guys is putting up, you know, they are, uh, uh, that keeps it in, in people's consciousness, you know. So anyway, let's get back to the point. So I'm, I'm just saying, well, what is this, you know? This is the corporate Democrats point of view. This is the the Biden boy point of view. I ain't going to do nothing more than what we done did. In fact, we really want to take that stuff away, but we can't do it right now. Let's, let's get in office so we can do it right now kind of thing. So I'm sort of, I'm not saying that, but... So because it's COVID and everything like that, people have to pay a little bit more attention. And because the sports are not quite back yet, I don't know if they're going to be back. They still got to pay. They're forced to pay attention. They, they got to look for, you know, they, they got to look for some kind of uh, what we call soft colonialism or or, or, or or soft oppression. You know, that's what that's what entertainment, that's what sports is about. So the point is, if you're if you're entertaining, like for instance, some, I was listening to Vet Cornell uh, last night. And then, you know, Wednesday night, and a sister got on there after my own. This sister was really good. Well, I believe this is my point of view. I have said this before, but it doesn't matter. Um, look, well, poets got to stand up. You know, comedians got to stand up. You all got to, you should be talking about reparations. ADOS style. Let me just be clear like that. You know, because there's all kinds of people want reparations and jumping trying to, no, no, no. We're talking ADOS, American Descendants of Slavery style. We're talking Vet Cornell. We're talking Antonio Moore. We're talking Sandy Darity style. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. So that has to be, in the, in the conscious, that has to be out there somewhere. And the only way you can do it, since they have no sports, then you, you should do it. You know, like I said, the poets, the, the comedians, the, the singers, we are reparation songs. Hey, remember, remember uh, Mr. John Lewis, you know, I got bopped in the head and I've been, you know, pimping that for years, you know. In fact, I don't know no other thing. But in fact, when I'm in when I'm in Congress, you know, what I mean, I can even pull a sit down stripe with with, with 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 Nancy Pelosi and some issues that are not really black issues. Uh, but I can do that. I I do a bunch of stuff. But that, but my people's in Atlanta and stuff like that, they still in the same day in worse situation than when I first came into office. But we won't get into that. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm not in Atlanta, so let me leave 
put that out there right now. So anyway, so so so, so what's really happening is you know. We have to have the, everybody's got to have the consciousness. Now, obviously, the politicians don't have that consciousness. I mean, I was watching that thing with Antonio Moria for the 4th of July, and you can see, you know, you can see Cornell, he, he, he was at the conference and everything, but you can see he's, as we dig deeper and deeper, he's like, ooh, I see, I see, I see, hmm. So I'm waiting for other people to do this. Back to the sister. So that's what I'm saying. I mean, it, it, even the sports figures. I had, um, um, when um, Antonio Moore, when he was at Dash Radio and he was doing this program there, I had Killer Mike on one time, and I, I got to call in. I said, you know, we should have to, which, 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 since you're a celebrity or whatever, have you? I said, no, I didn't say that like that. I suggested that, like, say a sports figure, you know what I mean? When they have those conferences, you know, with the, in the background, when they get the, the, the team thing and they get the, the, the sponsor's logo, right? The, and they can wear any T-shirt they want. You should walk in, wear, wear ADOS, you know, American descendant of slavery T-shirt, you know, like that. At the, at the news conference, talk what he wants to talk. You know, Richard Sherman could do something like that. And, and talk what they want to talk. Or, or, or I guess, anyway, they talk what they want to talk. And then well, what, what, what happens, somebody said, well, what's that T-shirt? You said, uh, we have to talk about that after the, after, after the season's ended. You know I mean? This was gifted to me from, say, like, uh, let, 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 let's, you know, uh, you know, gifted to me from, from from my big brother, you know what I mean? Well, you could talk to him. He's over. He, he's over. Blah 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 blah, or whatever. He's. You can say. You could deflect. Say it's just. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm, a, I'm I'm trying to find out myself. So when you find out, you tell me. Something like that. Okay. Okay. But this. But, but so what I'm thinking that the fix is in because when I say the fix is in, they, ain't nobody. You know, Biden. Pfft, you know, ain't nobody talk about reparations right now. Marianne Williams is not Williams is not on the stage, and they not talk about reparations. So we got to force it into the into this electoral system, right? And the best way to do is do down ballot people. You know what I mean? Go to your local things like that. Hopefully, since I'm here for a few months, I can get to some sort of political thing and see what happens. See if I can like say something or other. You know, and I know when I get back, because um, I got to get back in October. But by the time November, when I get back to Virginia, where where I vote. I'm definitely going to do something. I don't know what, but it's going to be something. Okay? So anyway, I just want to give you a little tiny, tiny, you know, how they're trying to, ooh, what they're trying to, what they're trying to, what what in the world are they trying to do? <sighs> we know what they're trying to do. Derail, deflect, you know, forget your message. We got our message. We got our thing to keep you down, down, down. You know, oh yeah, the the, the, the dump, he, he's bad. You know what I mean? And 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 my, my, like uh, Malcolm X would say, the dump stuck the knife in six inches. A, they say that Biden's gonna pull it out three inches. I rest my case. <laughs>